Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to make a coin shadow box. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. Let's get started. Hey guys, so today I am at my Glowforge and I am going to make my nephew a coin shadow box holder. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. So here we are cutting out the first layer of the insert and then I will be cutting out the board which is cutting right now and the letters for his name out of this board. Look at how fast the time lapse go. Okay guys, so you finished how that cut out and now I'm going to do the other parts. This part broke, but I'm going to still glue it together because this is just the out layer. But this came out good and so did his name, King. I love it. Okay, I'm getting ready to press the other two parts that I need, and I'll time lapse this. Okay, at this point, this is the third piece, and this is the top layer that's going to go over the coin shadow box, which has his name. And the letters that I cut prior will go on top of this part. And, oh my god, it cuts so fast. And it looks so good. I am in love. When it does work right. Because it oh, don't always. Okay. Look at how good that looks. Wow. So let's take this out. Oh my god. It looks so good. Look at that. That came out good. And here goes my acrylic piece. Okay. And let me go set it up and I'll be back to press the button. Okay, so this acrylic piece right here is going to go right after the top layer. Okay, now my acrylic is all done. Now what I want to do, I want to cut out a piece of cardstock to go on the back layer so I don't have to paint it. The only piece I'm going to have to paint is the top layer. And that will be in black. So, let me put this in. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut the same size of this because this is the same size as the backing. And this is cardstock. And I'm going to set the settings and I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, here I go cutting out the cardstock. It is going to actually take 18 seconds, so I'll just keep the real time. This is coming out so stinking cute, guys. And there goes my insert for the backboard. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now, let's go spray paint. 
Okay guys, so I'm outside in my backyard and there goes my sign right there and I am going to use the Rust-Oleum 2 Times Ultra Cover Gloss Black and I'm gonna spray paint this and I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna go back to the table and put this thing together. So let me spray paint it and I'll show you after I'm done. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna put this baby together. Okay, I went ahead and painted my wording to go on top of my frame and I forgot to record that. It was the same process. So let's head back to the table. Okay guys, so we're at the table and I end up already put some 3M tape behind this, which I should have done it before I cut this out, but I wasn't thinking straight. So I ended up putting some 3M up behind this cardstock and this is the cardstock that's going to go over the first layer. So instead of me painting it like I did the letters and the border, all I will have to do is just paint those two things instead of the three. So now I have extra room here with glue. And what I'm trying to do is see if I could get as much glue as I can on this. So I can use it and then I'll also use wood glue too to finish it off. Okay, so I'm going to go and cut this out, and then we're going to start putting this out, putting it all together. And I'm going to put this all together with this super glue. It's a no-run gel, and it's good for wood, plastic, acrylic, and stuff like that. Okay, so now let's start putting this together. So when you're cutting this out, you're cutting two bases the same size. So one is for your backboard, and one is for your acrylic. Then you want to cut two of the outpiece layer one has a slot and the other one is an overlay and mine's broke but that's all right because i'll fix it and then the acrylic goes on top on the fourth layer and then this goes right over top so let's put this together so i'm going to put my letters on the side for right now because that's the last thing i want to use And now I'm just going to peel this off. And my laser cut this thing out so quick. Cutting cardstock, especially if you guys are doing some type of a wedding invitation. Oh my God. Okay, so you, if you have any tape running around, which I don't, I'm just going to add some wood glue to the bottom of this right here since I'm missing some adhesive right there. And very little. Then you want to spread it out. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to put this down. Okay. Now with our brayer, you just want to make sure everything's adhered well. And let's turn it around. And it looks pretty perfect now like i said if you have any glue going around definitely trim it i see i feel like i got some extra right here 
the base is good. Now, we are going to come in with our super glue. And you can use acrylic glue. I'm also going to use wood glue. And now it's supposed to be a gel, non-clogging tube. And this is the brand that I'm using. And once you put it on, it should definitely um, puncture a hole in the, the bottle. Okay, so now we're going to flip this over. Now here goes our base. Now let's put our first layer on. Now our first layer for this is going to be the layer that I made that I put a corn slot in it. So now I'm going to get me some clips and I'm going to put glue around the edging of it. And then we're going to clip this together until it seals and then we'll move on to the next. Okay, so now I want to bring this around. I'm going to add glue all the way around the trim. So now let me get a piece of paper. Okay. Be careful. Don't stick your fingers together. It broke. So now I'm just going to add this down. Okay, so that part looks good. Now let's add the other part. Now I think I'm going to add a little bit of wood glue. Okay, so now I'm going to add the other part that broke apart. Oh, my fingers are all glued up. <laughs> I have these clips here. just take it and clip it on and it'll hold it in place also okay and now I'm gonna add the last piece and I'm gonna put this one. And first things first, I wanna get this underneath here so it attaches to the other piece of wood that I broke off of. So I got this clip right here. I just want to clip it right in that spot to hold it in place until it glues up. Okay, so that looks good. That's the first part. So here goes my other layer. Now this layer is going to go on top of this. And that is what's going to seal the coin slot. Okay, so now that that piece is ready, now I'm going to come back in with the super glue. I should just use regular wood glue. Let me use the regular wood glue. Okay, so I got to remember that I don't need glue in this part right here. So, let me start at the top. Okay, 
that looks like it's glued efficient. Let me wipe off any extra. Because we always have extra, guys. Okay. So now, let me add this part down. And it should line up with the other layer right on top. This idea right here came from Kim and Garrett. And they do a lot of laser work. And, you know, I don't use my laser too often. My X tool, I used it one time. I need to pull that sucker out. Okay, so I'm just taking out the extra glue. And I think I'm going to put a couple of clips just to hold this in place. Clip this side right here. And then I also want to clip this side. So that is just to give it pressure. And the rest of it look good. Oh my God, it's coming out so good. And I love that craft paper I use. Oh, I got so much. I'm so glad I could use some of it at least. And this is the paper pack that I use it from. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Hmm. Um, it says 2012. <laughs> so I got this paper a long time ago. And it got some pretty cool images for little kids. Now, I also got to make another one for my other nephew, which is his brother. So I will be using this paper, but a different design. It's pretty cool, this paper. I might use this one. We don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now that I got that part done right there. And it's looking pretty good. Just getting rid of some glue. And it does dry. Okay. So now the next piece, it is going to be our acrylic. So here goes my acrylic. Now my acrylic is going to go right on top of this part. So I need to take the back layer off. Oh my God, my fingers are so messy. That's the super glue. I haven't used super glue in so long, I forgot. My fingers actually almost got stuck together. <laughs> oh my God. I need to get me an easy applicator. I have a couple. Okay, so now I have my acrylic on the side. So now I'm going to take my clips off because this should be sealed. And that looks good. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my super glue. And now I'm going to go around. And I'm just going to add super glue to the trim. Okay, so I added glue all around the trim as much as I can. And now I'm going to take my K and I'm going to line it up. And before I press, I want to make sure... 
that everything is good. Looking even. And now I'm going to press. So now I'm going to want these clips. Because this will really hold this all in one set. That's even. That's even. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on to the side. I'm going to let it dry. That looks super good. I could have trimmed down that paper a little bit. Next time, I'll do the paper the same size as the outline. Oh, that looks so good. And if you want, you can cut another piece of paper. Just flip it over so you can cover the back part. I'm not going to do that because it's going to be hung up. Okay, so now I want to come in with my overlay and that goes right on top of the acrylic that looks good and now i want to come in with my letters so i was actually thinking about cutting out some foam to put on this to bring out the wording but i think i'm just gonna leave it at this And I'm just making sure that there's no glue around the edges. And I'm just going to line it up. So now we're going to come in with the end. Make sure you got it turned the right way. Is this going to... Be pressed right there. And now for the last letter is the G. And I'm just going to line it up. And it should fit perfect in the area. Okay, so we got that part in. So now I'm going to come back in with my base, and it should be completely dried. Okay, now let me take this backer piece off. I need to get some acrylic glue. And I think the next time I make this, I'm going to reverse the steps. So I'll do the acrylic with the base. So then if there's any cleaning I need to do, I can do it. I can't do it now because it's closed. Okay. I'm telling you guys, it's always just change the steppings. So if you guys are doing this, change the step. Put your acrylic and then the other layer on. And if your acrylic got any glue, you could clean it up. Oh, I wish I could have cleaned it. Let me see. You probably won't even be able to see that. Yeah, you'll be able to see a little bit of it, but not a lot. Gosh, this came out super cute though, guys. Okay, so let me see how I'm going to put this on. Okay, let's add some super glue around the edges. I'm going to move this onto the side. 
Okay. So I got my piece all glued. And now I'm going to bring in the top piece. And we're going to line this up. Okay. Gonna clip this side. I'll clip that side. Okay, well, that, that looks real good. Uh, the next time I do this, I will not use super glue. It came out really good, guys. So I'm gonna let it dry and I'll come back with the finished product. So now it's all dry. It came out really adorable. I end up adding 2024 down here. And it looks really good. I might cut a piece of cardstock paper and put it behind here. I don't know. I might. But, um, guys, look at how cute. I am in love with this. And when I make my other nephew, Elias... His is going to be super cute. So the birthdays are coming up and this is what I'm doing. So then what this is, it is a coin keeper. So you end up putting coins in there. And it's amazing, guys. And you could put dimes, nickels, quarters. Don't put no pennies. Pennies don't add up to no money. And then you can move it over so you can fill in the rest of the slots. So look at how adorable that is. I am in love with this project, guys. So, there goes my project for today. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell when you subscribe so you could get upcoming videos, notifications when I'm posting. And let me know what you think about this project. And until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye now.